Hello guys, welcome back to Tosap TV. Uh, it's my first video for the year 2020. And I want to say a big thank you to all those who have subscribed. And if you are yet to subscribe, please, please kindly subscribe. Thank you. And today we're going to be talking about basic uh, gadgets you need to get when studying photography. So let's begin. Okay, so like I said earlier, uh, we're going to be talking about the basic gadgets you need in uh, studying photography. So first thing first, you need a camera. And for me, I use a Canon 1300D. So I, I believe this is basic enough when you are starting photography. It's very cheap and affordable. So in addition to your camera, you need a speed light, a flashlight. So you can either use your flashlight directly on top of your camera or you use the connector. It allows you to use your flashlight from different angle when taking photos. Say for example, I do this. Talking of another accessory you might want to consider buying is uh, an LED video light. You can also attach this right on top of, of, of your camera. It only enhances your video when taking videos. So it uses a battery and it has a direct current where you can just use direct electricity. So this battery is uh, rechargeable and it, the light has two colors, which is orange and white. Okay, so for my flashlight, I I use uh, rechargeable batteries for my speed light. I, I, I make use of rechargeable batteries. You, you might want to consider getting a rechargeable battery. For me, I've been using this battery for the past one year and it has never failed me. So in order to recharge your battery, uh, make sure you buy a very good battery charger. So for me, this battery lasts at least 24 hours in a day. I can just continue to use it and doesn't feel so make sure you get a rechargeable battery not just any battery because you you want to avoid uh hazards explosion and all that here's another accessory you might want to get uh it's a young no 50 millimeter lens uh most times when taking photos i use this for focusing uh, it doesn't have a zoom so it's just for close range okay here's another accessory you might need that's if you're going to be taking videos for me i shoot videos so uh this is uh, an interview mic and it's compatible with a mobile device and a dslr camera right now i believe you you kind of enjoy the way i sound so and um, that's with the help of a uh, Boya clip mic as you can see on me right now uh, i'm wearing a clip mic it makes life easier for you while talking in front of a camera then another one is the uhf uh microphone uh, whether you can connect this to your camera while you connect the other one to your body including the clip microphone so this also allows you to walk around without having contact with the camera. Here I have this uh, Canon uh, EW60C. It's a lens hood. Basically what it does is to protect your lens from shadows, incoming shadows while taking photos. That's all it does. This is a light reflector. I normally use this when I'm doing an uh, outdoor photo shoot. So let me show you. It has five different colors. Uh, okay, so this is gold. This is white. This is the white area. Then I can decide 
to go with the gray color. It has gray inside and it has black inside. So you can decide to, to choose anyone and you're good to go. So of course, while you're going out to take photos, you might wanna need something to safeguard your camera. So that's why you need this. Uh, it's a Canon bag. And um, this one, you can either use this one for maybe an emergency, maybe when, when you don't need to move out with all your gadgets. So just take your camera and maybe your speed light and you're good to go. Just take a few shots and come back. So that's what I use this for. So now to my main bag. This is my main camera backpack. Uh, and for this bag, it's also a Canon bag. It accommodates uh, a tripod. Like you can actually fit in your uh, tripod stand in here just place the base of your kind of, i mean your triple stand here and use this in tightening the the uh, triple stand to the bag then you're good to go so inside the bag you have so many compartments and it's well padded first thing first it's got it can accommodate your computer then secondly you you can see the compartment it has different compartments for your lens, your camera, your accessories, majorly. Then it allows you to use your camera, I mean, your bag on the go. So for example, say I want to take a quick shot and I need some accessories from my bag. I can just place the bag around my neck this way, hold my camera and pick a few things from the bag while moving. Okay, so another thing for me, I think this is optional because i take a few shots with these and most times it comes out well so you might want to use any other object you know just to spice up the way you take photos and all that so most times i use an umbrella oh you thought it's a lens, right? No, it's not. It's just a, a fun lens cup. So I believe you like it. It's just a cup, as you can see. So if you're considering uh, indoor photo shoot and maybe setting up a studio and all that, though I might talk about that in subsequent videos, but let me just show you, as you can see right behind me, you can see something very white. Here's a backdrop. Uh, you can either buy, it comes in many colors, so you can go with any color you feel like buying, like red, green, blue, it all depends on you, brown, even floral background. So you can get anyone you like, as long as it's indoor. And even outdoor purposes, you can also use a backdrop, which is fine. Even black, you can buy black. It's, it's based on what you like. So for me, I decided to get a white backdrop. Then another thing, which I also use uh, is a soft box light, just to make your videos and pictures look great so that's basically what it does okay another accessory you will need is a tripod stand and here is a combo photo tripod stand you know when going out you want to take steady shots or you want to hang your video light or your your flashlight to take pictures this is going to be very useful so and this tripod stand can also be converted into a monopod so for example Converting this into a monopod, just remove this, then just stretch this out and you can just place this on top of any surface and move around with it. Then you can even use it uh, in taking a selfie or whatever, whatever, anything you want to do with it. It's easy to use. So another very important aspect you might want to focus on when starting photography is storage so try getting uh, an external hard drive for me i use just one terabyte uh, 
external hard drive. But for you, you can get as you can get something much higher, like two terabytes, just something better. But for me, this is basic enough and easy for anyone to get. So just just to uh, properly arrange your videos and pictures. So finally, uh, this is where it all happens. Uh, your computer. For me, I use a MacBook, for, but for you, you can choose to uh, use any kind of computer. But for me, I use a MacBook in editing my pictures. So in subsequent videos, I will show you the, the software I use in editing my photos. All right, guys, so that's all the accessories I have for you today. Um, as you can see, they are all pretty basic. And for me, I still need a lot, actually. I'm not there yet. So, but once you have all this, you can easily take photos and you're pretty good to go. So uh, I'm going to put all the links to all the accessories you've seen today in the description below. All right, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can get to see more videos when it's been posted. Okay, so this is Tosap TV signing out. Peace.